In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a YouTube channel from scratch. YouTube Simplify. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. And if you'd like to receive future notifications that can help you simplify YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. So it's great that you want to get started on YouTube, but perhaps you literally don't know where to start. In this video, I'm going to show you the first steps, including how to set up a Gmail account and then use that Gmail account to actually set up your YouTube channel. There's a couple things that you want to be aware of and I want to share these with you so you don't make a common mistake that a lot of YouTubers make. Stick around in this video. I'll show you everything you need to know to get that YouTube channel set up so you can start uploading videos. All right, enough talk. Let's jump over on the computer and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get your YouTube channel set up. All right, so we're going to get started setting up your YouTube channel from scratch. The way I recommend that you do that is to actually create a Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account, you can absolutely use the Gmail account that you have, and I certainly recommend that you do that. It's going to be make it it's going to make it a lot easier for you to be able to interact with your channel without having to log out and log back in or set up multiple uh, sessions side by side to be able to access everything. So if you do have a Gmail account, then you're good to go. You can skip to the next part after this, but just in case anybody doesn't have uh, this account, I'm going to actually walk you through this process because in a little while we're going to talk about how not to create your YouTube channel on top of your Gmail account, but to create a brand channel uh, uh, aside or separate from that within your, your Gmail account. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But for here, we're just going to create an account. Uh, obviously, we clicked on new account, create account right here uh, for myself. And then we are going to enter that information. Uh, for this, we're just going to do Joey, the YouTuber, and it'll be Joey, the YouTuber at Gmail. All right, so we've come up with our name and our email account here, and we're going to click Next. Uh, this name, oh, probably because it has YouTuber in it. And okay, that makes sense. So we will do Joey the Y tier 777. I'm going to copy that just in case I forget it and I need it. We'll hit next. Phone number is optional. Recovery email address uh, just to be safe. Added that. Um, sure, let's enter my birthday in there. Okay, then we hit next. YouTube terms of service. We'll set up an account. We process data, blah, 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 blah. I agree. And it'll create the account, and then you will have to verify the account. All right, next, we'll set up all these default stuff here. So now we have created our new Google presence here. We have the Gmail account set up, and now we have we are logged in to the Gmail world. Now if we go to YouTube, we see we're not currently signed in. So we are going to sign in with the new account. Because I click sign in and I'm already in my Gmail session, uh, it actually, when I click sign in, it put me in as that new account. Now, uh, just in case that doesn't happen, we'll sign out and just show you exactly what the process would look like. But typically, if you are, if you have an active session um, logged in as Google or your Gmail account, when you click this, it's going to be smart enough to know, and we're going to log in. So just in case that doesn't happen, now you've been logged in, you have the option of saving it, we'll go ahead and do that. So now you're here. So when you're first logged in, you are technically in a YouTube account. You can absolutely click here and upload your first video, but uh, that is not how we want to do this. I always uh, recommend that you plan for success, and that means that uh, 
you're kind of planning now for how to be able to manage a successful YouTube channel and one of the ways we do that is by creating a brand channel. Now a brand channel is something that gives us a little bit more flexibility as our channel gets bigger to be able to bring in other people who can do certain roles on our account. So if we get really, really big and we need some help, we can bring in other accounts to do that. So that's what we're gonna do now and set up a brand account. All right, so to add the brand account, we're gonna click here. We're going to go into settings and we're going to click on create a channel. And we're going to give it a name and we're going to create the channel so now when we're, we're logged in here we see that we have the option to switch account and we click here and we have a channel just to show you what that looks like if you have more than one if we go into settings and we do create a new channel this is where we get to the brand account. So that's one of the things that's different in the new setup on Google is that it actually had you go in and create your initial channel separate from your login, which is a little bit different than it used to be. But uh, after you've established that first quote unquote YouTube channel uh, linked to your main account, you now have the ability to come in and create a brand account. And this is where we want to be. So it didn't seem to give us the opportunity to create an additional channel until we kind of gave some information about that initial channel. So go ahead and do that. Just know that after you do that, you're going to be able to come in and have that option to create the brand channel. And this is where you actually want to upload your content. So this is going to be the channel that you are starting right now. So uh, even though I gave that one, the uh, that name will say real super cool channel and then we'll hit create and that'll be our actual brand account okay so now we have su real super cool channel now when we click on our thing over here with our little icon you can see when we go to switch account you're gonna have both your initial channel that is associated to your Gmail now this is interesting the way they show this I'm going to assume that only this one is a brand channel even though they've kind of separated the two of these um, so we're going to go based on the idea that that initial channel is still a user channel um, and they just gave you a little more flexibility on how to name it and go through that process. Uh, but this is ultimately or rather this is the original one we created. This is the actual brand channel. So just for um, lack of confusion, we're going to go in here and modify this guy. And we're going to go into settings. And we're going to edit this. And we're going to call this because this actually asked for a name and I, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not Dan. I am Joey, the YT -er. So I kind of tried to force that as the brand name because they, they split it up here, but we don't want to do that. So we're going to go back. That is going to make everything look a little clearer and we'll go back. So the account. So now when we come in here and we look at the two options. We have our original user channel and then we have the actual brand channel. So just remember the first step is going to be to give a name or enter your name associated with your YouTube channel. That is the user account. Uh, you don't really need to know the, the uh, difference right now. Just know that after you've done that, you're gonna always be able to come in here and add um, additional channels, brand channels. But for now, we're gonna stick on just the one. And again, that's after you're logged in, you go into settings, and then you have the option to add or manage your channels here. And when you come here, you're going to see your initial channel and any associated brand channels. If at some point you wanted to create another channel after this, you can uh, click at create a new channel. If for some reason you make a mistake with this one, don't start creating a bunch of new channels. You can always come in, select the actual channel that you want to be in, and you'll know what channel you're in because it'll be up here. Um, and then just go into settings, and then you do have the option to edit it if you made a mistake on the name or something. So don't create like a bunch of <laughs> different uh, brand channels every time something goes wrong. Um, we will, but if we want my real brand channel, just so you guys can see what that all looks like. Um, 
Let's see. We do that, and then we go back. And that might make it a little bit clearer for us to look at. So we have Joey the YouTuber, which is our original user channel and our brand channel. So now that we've created the brand channel, we want to select it, which it's already selected here. And then we are now in it, but we're in settings. So if you click up here and you go to your channel after you've selected the brand channel, then you're going to be on the actual brand channel. And this is where we want to start uploading content. As you continue to move forward, I'm going to show you some, some settings real quick here before you even go into getting to the point of uploading videos because you kind of want this to be set. We're going to click on Customize Channel. And this is going to bring us kind of into what the old school YouTube looked like. And you're going to see some options here. Now, you've probably seen that most of the channels that you go to have channel art, which is a pretty picture up here that kind of illustrates exactly what uh, you are um, covering on your channel. You want to make your channel as focused as possible on a specific a particular theme and you obviously want your channel art to communicate that to people who visit your channel uh, but for now uh, we're gonna cover that in a later video if you do want some assistance and some guidance on creating your channel art let me know in the comments below on this video and I will absolutely get that video out to you uh, you can also put an icon up here again it pops you over to your brand account on Google which is what this is and then you can upload uh, you can pick a photo and upload that and that's what's going to show up when you comment on other channels it's also going to show up as the icon here there are some specific guidelines on creating channel art right here so you want to make sure that you follow those uh, and uh, I will like I said uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll get you guys a video on how to set that up you can do it in GIMP which is a free service you can use Photoshop which is paid you can use canva.com which is also uh, a free opportunity to create some art there as well but just know that you do eventually want to set that up now as you're creating content you're going to use the upload button so once you've created this and you come in and you actually want to add a video to it if you're on desktop you're going to click right here and then upload video and that's going to bring you to the video upload section now a lot of you may be working on mobile um, in which case you want to download a, a couple apps you want to download the YouTube app which is going to allow you to view your channel and uh, upload videos to your channel and then you also want to download the YouTube studio app which is going to allow you to see behind the scenes in terms of how many people are viewing how long they're watching all kinds of stuff you don't really need to get too caught up in that right now but those two apps are uh, going to help guide you through this process so definitely get those and if you are making content on your mobile device um, there are videos on this channel as well that can help you uh, learn what tools to use what apps to use and again anything you guys want to see more um, content on always let me know in the comments below because I do look at the comments and I have regularly used feedback from the audience to make videos that are helpful to all of you so if you are doing uh, this process on your phone then we can definitely take a look at how you would create that whole um, process as well and hey if you want to see how to walk through this entire process on a phone I can make that video as well just let me know all right so basically this is where the process uh, this is what it looks like on desktop obviously when we click uh, create and go to upload video it's gonna bring it here you can actually just drag and drop a video there um, and essentially you want to um, watch some additional content to figure out that whole process of upload or creating a video and uploading I have several um, really popular videos on this channel about how to upload a video so now that we have your YouTube channel set up uh, now you can actually upload content to it so when you're on this screen um, and again I'll show you how we got here uh, but this is where everything is going to live you're going to have a dashboard as you continue to upload YouTube provides you a bunch of tools back here um, to kind of see what's going on uh, this upload feature only appears until you've started to upload on YouTube uh, there's a news section that they can give you some information on and then this is where you can actually upload videos as well as go live 
uh, on YouTube. And as you can see here, if you do intend on going live on YouTube, there is a verification process that you want to go through. Um, you can give them a phone number or text verification, and they will walk you through the process to make sure that you're not a bot and uh, allow you the opportunity to go live. Now, when they give you that opportunity, it's going to allow you to go live on desktop, but you do need to have a thousand subscribers uh, and uh, 4,000 watch hours, I believe, as part of the YouTube Partner Program to go live via the mobile app. The good news about that is there are apps that allow you to bypass that. So instead of trying to go live on the YouTube app, you can use a great app like Prism Live Studio to go uh, live on your YouTube using a mobile device uh, just by downloading the Prism Live Studio app. I'll put a link to that in the comments or in the description below so you guys can check that out. But that is a great way to kind of bypass that thousand subscriber requirement. But we're jumping way ahead of ourselves now. We want to make sure that you understand how to get to your brand channel. And let me know if you have any questions below, if anything wasn't clear. And you can see here, we can always go to Creator Studio, which is that back end. And from here, if you want to get back to your channel, um, you can actually go right over here, click on your little icon and go to my channel. That's going to bring you to the front end of your channel. So obviously we want to uh, get in the process of uploading content. I want you to uh, take this opportunity to get your channel created and then start uploading videos. So at the end of this video, right about here, I am going to share a playlist all about how to upload videos to YouTube, including both desktop and your mobile device. So be sure to watch that video next. And hey, don't forget this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.today and get started for free. Just like setting up your YouTube channel, I believe that TubeBuddy is an essential piece of the puzzle to help you succeed on YouTube. You can follow the link, get it set up. It's a plugin that actually embeds tools right on the YouTube uh, interface that allows you to do some really helpful things to get started on YouTube. I hope you found this video helpful. And like I said, now that you have the channel in place, your next step is to upload videos. I'm gonna put a playlist right up here that shows a number of videos to help you upload your first video to YouTube, whether you're on your mobile device or desktop. I'll see you in the next video.